It's World AIDS Day and we've got a really great question, a couple of questions actually coming from, from Bernard in our team. The scientists, the researchers were able to create a vaccine for COVID so quickly, so rapidly. Why are we still not there with a vaccine for HIV? So it's, a, it's an interesting question and a, a scientific challenge, I suppose. So the way in which the COVID vaccines were developed is that we took technology that was already in existence and we knew that the immune response against COVID very early in the epidemic was related to the spike proteins. And so we were able to put them into established vaccine techniques and then trial them very rapidly. And we also were very fortunate that we had large numbers of people who were willing to come forward and participate in those clinical trials to prove the extraordinary safety and efficacy of the vaccines that we now have approved which are not sterilizing vaccines. They don't prevent people from getting infected with uh, SARS-CoV-2, but they uh, are protective against the development of illness with a greater than 90, 95% efficacy. So they've, they've changed the epidemic. And as we've seen in the UK, we, are, we can live with uh, COVID circulating without um, large numbers of people getting sick or being hospitalized. With coronaviruses, They've been around with us for a very long period of time, probably throughout our evolution. We know that, let's say, at least 30% of common colds are caused by coronaviruses. So our immune systems developed at a time that coronavirus was already circulating amongst human and animal populations. Mm -hmm. So our immune systems are primed to respond to coronaviruses and we very rapidly learned to adapt that for the particular one that causes COVID. HIV was not around in our evolution. Um, the estimates are that it may have entered the human population perhaps a uh, hundred years ago or somewhat more recently uh, than that. And so our immune systems were not primed to respond to a, a, a telephotropic virus such as HIV. And so it's much more difficult to manipulate uh, our immune systems to respond to HIV. We do know that there's a small number of people in the, in the population who, when they get infected with HIV, control HIV very effectively. And they have some overlapping genetic similarities, but they're certainly not the same uh, genetic types. But the problem, even for those people who we call elite controllers of HIV, is that they still have an inflammatory response triggered by the HIV infection that results in some of, them, some of them still developing illness over time. Mm -hmm. So even the best responders that we have to HIV don't make res responses that are necessarily optimal for those individuals. So it's a tale of two viruses, really, in terms of what our immune systems can do and with those things. And a Darwinian tale of evolution. Absolutely.